And welcome to On the Record with Kevin and... With Tiffany and Kevin. <laughs> on 9.30 a.m., The Answer, where the American descendants of the formerly enslaved are giving it to you raw, <laughs> no chaser. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, Tiff. All right, a and lot... There's a lot to talk about there, this week. There is, there is, mm -hmm. there is, there is. All right, mm -hmm. so let's talk about Ohio... And I want to compare. The I want profiteers to, are going crazy. <laughs> and Jacksonville, right? So our response is not going to be the typical response to these situations. Well, let's just give our response. Let's give our response, response, right? You don't want to lead the people on? I want to qualify and lead people on. <laughs> I don't think you have to qualify. All right. So uh, Ohio, Pennsylvania, right? No, Ohio. No, tell me, Palestine, Ohio. And I always want to think Palestine, Texas, but it's not. Well, it's Palestine, in Ohio. Ohio. Oh, Ohio. So what? What happened there, Tiffany? Why are you asking me what happened? <laughs> so basically, we have a we have a a, a, a train that's a train carrying derailment. a train derailment. Trains carrying toxic uh, uh, ingredients, essentially, right? Stuff that they use to make PVC. There may be some other items there, right? And so it completely wrecks this small town. I mean, just wrecks the small town, right? You have uh, chemical chemicals there you have that well i think the conversation here is about the train derailment the fact that it's okay that that there were over 800 train derailments in 2022 right there says that there's a systemic problem but then the secondary issue is we've got a secondary and a tertiary issue secondary issue is we have a train derailment mm -hmm. chemicals are spilled yep we uh the powers that be chose to set those chemicals on fire and do a slow burn which has a tremendous repercussion because it changes the nature of the chemicals yes and and that's the part is you know once again uh we talk about this in healthcare, and this is the same conversation in, mm -hmm. in uh with the epa um language is it, the monopoly on language uh, that each one of these systems mm -hmm. that run, in this case, uh, <laughs> the railway system and the EPA, because one has to ask, listening to the language, EPA, who are you protecting? Yep. And let's give some examples of the language. I think the first one was when they ran the initial test. We're now finding out when they ran the initial test, they came back and said, ah, oh, the water is good to drink. And let, let, let's slow down. Right <laughs> You're within a five mile radius mm -hmm. of this crash. F over 40,000 animals died. Mm -hmm. 40,000 animals. So and people drink their water from wells there. Yeah, but they said so, it was okay so to drink the water, you got right? 40,000 animals dead. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the water. The water is so toxic that you won't put your people in it. Yeah, they have to wear special if, uniforms. That's right. Even with the special outfits. That's right. They they were wouldn't put their people in it. But they did tell the public it was okay to drink the water. Yeah. They told the public that the air was fine. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, their throats are tingling and their eyes are stinging and their pets are dying. But the air is fine to breathe. Yeah. And also there was a, uh, a mushroom cloud so, when they did the burn off. So one has to think about cities. this in terms of, OK, in order to do that, what's missing in the language that we're being told? What's what are we missing in terms of understanding? Right. Because if if somebody is telling you something definitively, they have some sort of data that they're using to back it up. So how are they collecting that data and what are they using? Well, when you start digging down into this stuff, uh, yes, they're using instruments to test, but they're not testing for the chemicals that occur when you add fire. Mm hmm. Because the, because the language that they use was that maybe they're not testing for the the level of toxin that's going to be there. You got to like figure out what it is that you're missing, and that's being held back because it's always going to be benign neglect that's, that's uh, hitting you. Yeah. So let's talk about that, right? So it was a range. So they so when they when they do these things. There's a range <coughs> of possible outcomes, right? And so there is, you know, a range of everything's okay, 
right, which is what they put out to the public, right? And then there's a range of, no, this is a bad situation, a very bad situation. So you could sh- probably come somewhere in the middle, right? And so that is so when so remember when they first came out, you and I had this discussion, right? When the language they used, they said that uh, that it is safe. I think they used the word safe. That a particular chemical wasn't there, right? Mm-hmm. And they were right They're because of the instrument because the instruments that they use did not test for those. That's right. So th- there's the, the it's always up to the consumer to figure out what it is that's being held back or what it is or just how they're wording this in such a way that yes you're being screwed but no you can't do anything to us about it and so here's the other thing right so that's what's happening right and so also that that chemical uh, you know what i found just it's kind of comical, not comical, but sad, right, was mm-hmm. that you could get more information on this particular chemical and its burn rate from uh, from scientists and PhD, PhD students in chemistry off of TikTok, from those guys from TikTok, <laughs> than you could get from television. Yeah. The trust you know, the source, what, what really right? has, it, it, well, it has been... Um, now, that's sad. It, it's... It's eye-opening that the people the very people that are that we have charged with and trusted with uh telling us the truth and giving us the skinny on what's going on mm-hmm. whether it's good or bad we need to know mm-hmm. uh they spend so much time you know gaslighting the public because this i, I don't but see it's how always can, for our best interest it's they always, don't want to create a panic yeah, that and that's those are statements that are made. We hear the same thing in healthcare. Oh, they're not ready to hear about that. It'll create a panic. It'll create a panic. It'll cause us emotional really? so emotional you trauma. Get to decide whether something will cause a panic. Whether telling me, telling me as an individual mm-hmm. that I have stage one chronic kidney disease or stage two chronic kidney disease. Or if I can't I'm drink my water ready to hear that. Is that really your your place or your call to make. Yes, that's what they believe. That's the, no. We're the experts, trust us. And can I truly trust you Mm -hmm. when we're talking about industry Mm -hmm. where profits and losses are the drive, are the bottom line to all of it. And here's the other thing, right, that I think is sad. And when profits and losses are, are being evaluated Human life is often not yeah. even in the equation. And that is not a, because, you know, I remember in the past they would say, oh, that's a liberal way of thinking. No, that's reality. That mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure everyone there in, the, in that little city voted for Donald Trump. That, it's a very conservative place. It's and extremely what conservative. Show, what this is showing us is that, you know, and I, and I say this to everybody, a lot of what we deal with, uh, that we assign to color. Yes, there's a color involved in it. It's called green. Money. Well, let's talk about Money that. comes down to, to what's going on. Let's talk about that real quick, Tiffany. So, okay, we have, okay, so you have in Ohio, Palestine, Ohio. I'm not Ohio. discounting that, that there are racist things going on, but uh, we see a lot of things But let me tell you how race is used, right? Because we all often run into this with people, right? Race is most of the time in the situations is may not be the primary situation or the cause of something. It may but not they, be the primary focal point. Focal point, but then they will turn around and use race. Let me give you an example of that, right? So we see in Ohio. It's a it's a point of opportunity. It's a point of opportunity. <laughs> so in Ohio, you have this huge chemical spill. They set off a mushroom cloud. They take the product and turn it essentially into acid, right, and and set it off over the city and over that area. And then after they do that, they then turn around because you got there's a lot of cleanup that has to happen. They turn around and take the cleanup and the and, and the soil and everything and try to send it to Arizona and Texas. No, Michigan and Texas, right? Mm-hmm. Oh man! And so we get wind of it here in Texas 
buses and like, hold, hold up, like, pump your brakes. Uh-huh. You can't bring that here. Send it somewhere else. Same thing yeah. in Michigan. Like, no, and they end up, that. they end up putting it back in Ohio in, in that 15, area. 15 or 20 in that miles area, away. right? And so uh-huh. now, what they come out and you have, and this is why now they come out and they go, hey, they want they want to stir up black people and say, hey, you should say something about it. Look at all the, that. Look at all the interest they're showing to those people. It's because they're white. You, they're getting more FaceTime. And then in that situation, so then they turn around to those same people and go, look at that situation in Jacksonville. They're getting all that press time. It's because they're black. Yeah. Right. Which is a total BS. Right. And just gaslight both. Of them. Gaslight us both. But when in reality, both groups, both <laughs> groups can come together on a common theme and, and of. It- Environmental yeah. protection. And yeah. to be an environmentalist is not to be a left wing loon. It is not. Right? Those people in Ohio care about their drinking water. Those people in Jackson care about their drinking water. We want to we want all the basic things. Yeah. And I know sometimes I, I give Tiffany a grief for, for this statement some from time to time, but she's right. In the end, We're, we are more alike that's right. than we are. Unalike. Unalike's not a word. I know. We're more alike than we are different. And these two scenarios, see, first of all, and and I will, to your point, neither one of them got the press that they should have gotten. Mm -hmm. Neither one. We've got two major catastrophes happening on American soil. Yeah. And we talk more about everything else that's happening in the world than we do about our very own. We are doing more for what's happening in other nations than we are in these two devastating situations. But what's interesting for our citizens. Well, before that, you stated that there were uh, there were train wrecks that happened before that. Eight hundred right? over eight hundred. So train you would So that's eight hundred train derailments. So also in twenty twenty Jackson, Mississippi, right, has an issue with their drinking water where they can't drink it. And they're not. But the they only, just had it up. They had the a similar situation in Michigan, uh-huh. and then there within Mississippi, they're having in the surrounding areas. Water infrastructure water. falling apart does not happen in a day. No. It doesn't happen in a year. It doesn't happen in two years. It is a, it is a it is over time and it is neglect over time and it's bad leadership. Mm-hmm. It's uh, cutting corners. Mm-hmm. It's people being bought off. See, I say this all the time and I will continue to say it and everybody that takes offense to it kick rocks. Leadership, being an advocate for people being a legislator, being in any position of advocacy requires that you have a soul that cannot be bought for silver or gold. And And that is part of the problem here. Hold that. We're going to come back to that. And you've been listening to On the Record with Tiffany and Kevin on 930 AM, The Answer, home of conservative talk radio. Giving it to you straight. 